Airmen, space professionals, and Department of the Air Force civilians and families, today our nation faces an unprecedented threat. COVID-19 presents a challenge we have not faced before. We will get through this together, just as we have every other obstacle our nation has faced. Secretary Esper directed all installations worldwide to increase the health protection level to Charlie as a prudent measure to protect our forces. Over the past few weeks, we have witnessed the country working together with our entire government and with allies, industry, and community partners to tackle this pandemic. Already airmen and space professionals have been called to action. Airmen of the 86th Airlift Wing transported hospital beds to Italy to increase the patient capacity of our Italian allies. In Honduras, airmen evacuated U.S. citizens. And across the country, total force airmen are among the 9,000 guardsmen who support governors and interagency partners mitigating the spread of COVID-19 in their communities. What you are doing goes beyond the core mission of the Air Force and Space Force, and I thank you. Wherever you are working today, you play an important role keeping jets flying, satellites operating, and our nuclear forces ready. I understand the new operating environment causes hardships on you and your family. Our goal is to protect you while minimizing the spread of COVID-19. The next several weeks will test us. We will continue to focus on three priorities. First, protect the force, their families and communities. Second, maintain readiness. And third, support the entire government's response to this pandemic. Together with the dedication and sacrifice airmen and space professionals make every day, we will lead through this. We will do everything in our power to take care of you and your family while you take care of our nation. Thank you for everything you do to make this the world's greatest Air Force and Space Force.